Welcome to another video where we highlight the new features in Colonote added in the last five to six months. We have nothing but respect for the Colonote developer. His dedication to this app is admirable, especially because this is a free application. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Colonote is the second application to make the raster ink in the Apple Pencil Kit vector ink. This is exciting news indeed. Your notes no longer pixelate when you zoom in. As a result, our developer has given us more room to zoom in now up to eight times according to the application's update notes. Even old notes are not pixelating. How fantastic is that? You can now create hyperlinks in the application. Under the plus icon, you now have a link tab with an option to insert link into a page. You can also do this by simply tapping a blank space on the page when your lasso tool is selected. You can either create a thumbnail of the page that you're linking to, outline area, which creates a kind of shadow around the section you hyperlink, or add a transparent area. Transparent area is more subtle. If you're organized enough to remember what you hyperlink, then this is the option you want to go for. The application doesn't highlight hyperlinks yet, so this is something you don't want to use if you are likely to forget your hyperlinks. Sadly, at the moment, we can't edit our hyperlinks in case you linked the wrong page, but you can always delete the link and create a new one, which will take any day over not having hyperlinks at all. We are still waiting for our developer to let us select one item at a time. With Colonote, you don't have to leave your application anymore if you want to quickly look something up. Insert link to a website and add an interactive web page that you can browse from within the application. You can then drag and drop notes out of web pages as you read them. This can be a useful tool for research. This window can be whatever size you need it to be, and you can drag it anywhere you want in your notebook. The application has some bookmarks and suggestions for you. You can delete any bookmarks you don't want from this list. Your web links can also be thumbnails or transparent. The transparent web links are especially useful because it means you can add them to handwritten notes, images, and even diagrams. Most note-taking apps limit our web links to text, so it is exciting that we don't have that in Colonote. Under Edit, we can now crop our images in color note. Simply drag the edges of the image to remove sections you don't want. You can also decide the aspect ratio you want for the crop and rotate the image in this editing window. The last thing you can do in this window is that you can rotate and zoom or crop at the same time. We hope our developer can give us an undo button in this window or a reset option that does not take us back to the workspace and remove all the changes we've made. The application also has some filters to add to our photos for different looks. In this window, you can also draw items on the image. The inking is not great though, it needs some work. Text which has similar color options to your ink. Text in this window seems to work better than handwriting. Sensor blows out sections of your image if it contains sensitive information. Both your apply filter and sensor windows have similar tools. We've not seen image censorship in any note-taking app yet. This is very interesting. You can now translate sections of your notes in color note. Make sure your translation icon is selected before you select the section you want to translate. What's impressive about this is that it works with handwriting, image sections, text. 
The translation appears at the top of your screen and you only have a few seconds to copy it for pasting in your notes. For quick translations, this is a handy feature for those learning a new language. The settings for your translation lets you determine what the application reads out to you, original or translated text. You can also disable this. There are no speech-to-text options for these translations though, at least not any we've seen so far. This is probably something that the developer is working on. And again, please stop adding features that are not yet in the application. It's a bit confusing. You can also pick a source language, which is the original language you want to translate from, and the target one. We counted a total of 59 target languages and 8 source ones. These are the five major updates we have received in Colonote in the past five months. The rest of the updates we'll go through now are not very big, but they're worth mentioning. You can now do the following in the application. You can double tap to select attachments on the page. You can change page colors for your notebooks. The colors are the same as the ones you get for your pen tool, which we hope our developer can give us better organization for our colors. Not only are they too much, they are a headache to organize. You can add wallpaper behind your notebook and the application has a few images you can choose from. The custom images from your photos library is still in beta testing, so we're hoping that our developer can stop adding beta features and upcoming features that are not yet in the application to the application. You can now skip through your audio playback by tapping the synced notes, a very useful feature to have for audio playback. You can now access Color Note on MacBooks that have the M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max. You can now move selections across pages. It's amazing how Color Note has figured this out in such a short time, and GoodNotes is still struggling with this. Just saying. And you can easily switch between the notes on your device and those you have in iCloud Drive. When there are free applications like Colonote that are releasing all these cool updates, it makes subscription packages difficult to sell. It's been a year since its release. We are cautiously optimistic about the future of Colonote in the note-taking world. Will it remain free and what will that mean for other note-taking apps? For the record, though Colonote is free, it is also one of the buggiest note-taking applications on the market. Perhaps at the end of the day, one must choose the battle they're willing to fight. Bugs or subscriptions? Let us know what you think about these updates from Color Note. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.